Good afternoon, this is Pete at Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. And today we have Braxton Creek's Bushwhacker Plus 15 DS and bonus, this is a 2023 unit. Again, presented to you by Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Okay, let's start with some of the features we see on the front here with the swept front aerodynamic cap with a diamond chip rock guard behind it, single 20 pound cylinder for LP. Got all the regular A-frame hookups on there. You'll have the uh, cylinder filled as well as the regulator installed and adjusted once we get ready to ship it out. The battery in the box would go right there and I'm sure you're gonna want to add that on there. Very easy to do again upon ship out. All right, here we are on the off side of the unit. These are aluminum framed units too, by the way. Here's your fresh water filler as well as a port for your easy addition of a solar kit whether that be roof mounted or standalone or suitcase style, it would be up to you. It's an option you might want to explore. Okay, down underneath your sewer connections, down there for both gray and black tank. Yes, we're talking self-contained, right? So, well, well, you're gonna discover that on the inside in just a moment. Okay, we'll take a quick look at the offside here. These are really cool brushed aluminum rims with aggressive tires on them. Plenty of ground clearance a whole boatload of ground clearance on here to work with. City water connection would happen to be right here. 30 amp electrical service, the twist lock removable detachable cord set included with it, 30 foot cord set. Exterior shower, now check this out. Here's, not so, here's something that you're not gonna find on a lot of the smaller teardrop style trailers, but you've got exterior shower on here with hot and cold water. Sand pads are on the rear and here, the sand pads are going to be on the deployable stabilizer jacks. Spare tire underneath. Let's take a look there. Spare tire as well as your LP quick connect. Right over towards the side is your LP quick connect. And the spare tire in right there. Plenty of ground clearance, as I say. Let's take a quick look at the campsite on these units. Braxton Creek's Bushwhacker and Bushwhacker Plus are top sellers here they're very popular and in demand okay here we go with your porch light led por uh, porch light there entry assist handle single step entryway into here and there's your hot water heater access from the exterior as well as the gfci protected electrical outlet okay opening up the door challenger door here for the screen door and that's complete with the bug proof pocket we'll run that shut there separate screen door from the uh, thermal door, the main door. All right, let's step on to the interior. Another reminder that this presentation comes to you by Bish's RV here in the Quad Cities. Okay, that's the exit. In case you ever forget. Okay, let's get serious. Uh, over to here is your thermostat. And this is, by the way, the switch for the porch light out front. Thermostat to run your furnace. And... This is a main, a real important feature in here. This is a quality Vortex fan, three-speed vent fan on there that really moves a boatload of breeze. Now, if you're going to be boondocking where you can't use your air conditioner, that 12-volt Vortex fan is a real lifesaver. It's superb. Really gets the job done. Okay, here's your refrigerator on here. You'll have to look up to see the cubic footage on the refrigerator because I don't have that at my fingertips today. Now, I did not set up the table. However, the table is right back behind here. And you just simply use the posts right there to set up the table. See the pictures that we have of the owner because I did show the, uh, the pictures with the table in place there. All right, these are both jackknife sofas. So... To deploy those down, I can do this with one hand. Lift, deploy, lift and deploy, push it down, and voila, instant queen bed. There you go. Some people add in an extra layer of foam to kind of make up for the little bumps in there. Others don't seem to mind it. That's something you could explore on your own. Okay, here we go with an egress window. It's a full function egress window. And here's the air conditioner, 5,000 BTU air conditioner there. Again, that runs on 110 volt power, not on the battery, not intended to run on the battery. We've had some folks inquire or try to monkey around with hooking up a lot of batteries into an inverter. It doesn't tend to work out very well, but it 
technically could be possible. Here is your coax connection there for your TV with the antenna booster as well. Another GFCI protected electrical outlet right up on top of here, just down to the side. Uh, we've got, this is a refrigerator switch, I believe, and your USB charge ports, charge your cell phone at night or charge whatever. These are nice, elegant window valances there. So you can, uh, the, the shade will be drawn down from up underneath in there. Getting a little ahead of myself. Entertainment center, okay, over to here. AM, FM, and you're going to have a HDMI port as well as a USB port, and you can Bluetooth into that very nicely as well. Hey, let's take a look at the kitchen. Another GFCI protected outlet right on over here. Here's your systems monitor panel as well as your pump activation switches and water heater controls as well. That's gas and electric on the water heater, by the way. How cool is that? All right, over to here, here's your two burner suburban range top and a microwave down below. Another word to the little caution to the boondockers out there, you do not have access to the microwave when running on 12 volt power. That's a 110 volt thing only, of course. Oh, we're forgetting everyone's favorite room. Yeah, we mentioned self-contained, didn't we? The Biffy, the John, the Can, the Lou, the Head, the, the Turlet, the... Anyway, you get the idea. Foot flush stool right there, self-contained. And it's not the Shoilet style, but you have a shower separate from the toilet. Not a wet bath, not a true wet bath, so to speak. But you do have your shower in right there and the skylight up overhead full shower surround goes all the way up to the skylight we'll take a quick look at the shower pan a very easy hop into the shower by the way I'd say about eight inch hop from the floor into the shower pan so it makes it very easy to access I love the decor in these because it's very light uh, light and bright colored and cheery colored 12,000 BTUs will round out your furnace on there uh, and that is of course 12 volt operated as well so you can use the furnace when boondocking okay i think we fairly well covered just about everything i can in this real quick little tour of the 2023 bushwhacker 15 fk um you know what i think i spoke ahead of myself ds the 15 ds let's correct that well the final reminder of this presentation has been brought to you by vicious rv of the quad cities